morning. Hi. My hair is at a funny in-between stage right now. The parts that have the highlights that I did, they're, they're like the right color. But the rest of the hair is stuck. But it's okay, it only has like one more level to go and then it will be... So I'm just gonna sit with it looking funny for like a couple of weeks, I don't care that much. Besides, it's like the best time of year to have your hair be like a little bit weird. <laughs> Now that I am weight restored and I have a healthy BMI, my body type is where it's supposed to be. And I always knew that my body type was different when I was underweight. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. <laughs> Lately, TikTok has been showing me a lot about um, this. I don't know how to pronounce it, so um, this. And I grew up with like the more traditional, like hourglass, pear-shaped, I mean that's still a thing, but this one's like more in depth. And I've always known that I'm an hourglass figure, however when my body is underweight it is not really an hourglass anymore. It really levels out and becomes more like petite and like rectangles. So when I'm underweight I look more like, like a gamine, and then when I'm at a healthy weight I can't be a gamine because of my hourglass. So. I currently have to go through my entire wardrobe. I have to like sort it out because there's a lot of pieces that I have in there that look really good on a gamine body type, but my body my body type is actually more of like a romantic body type. I think that's what they're called. I'm gonna put it on the... Um, oh, and if you think I have the wrong type, please let me know in a comment. Um, Cause I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's a subreddit where you can post yourself and people will type you, but there's not that many people active in it. And I think that I think that systems like this where you have to do a test and like um, like self-report, I think that they're kind of like already at a disadvantage. Because we're not really great at assessing ourselves. But um, yeah, if you think that I've got the wrong type, let me know and let's figure this out because the one that I came up with was called, I think it's called Theatrical Romantic and that means that I have to put a lot of jewelry and like detailing and stuff into my outfits and I've always been a strict no jewelry kind of person. I really didn't like wearing jewelry for many different reasons and I've only just started getting into it so I don't have very much of it so maybe that's something that I can go shopping for soon, that could be fun. So not only do I have to go through my closet and adjust it for my new body type, my new body type, I also changed my, like my coloring dramatically. So when I have dark hair, I'm like, um, like a winter tone, if you know like the seasonal color, whatever, it, what's it called, color analysis? I can't remember, This uh, where you figure out what color you should have for like your hair color and your makeup and your clothes and everything based on seasons and then they split the seasons down further into like soft, cool and warm or something. I can't really remember exactly, but I used to be like a winter tone, which meant a lot of like darker, richer colors would look better on me. And I bought a bunch of pastels anyway because I didn't like that. I wanted to wear... I'm really into color theory too. I figure there's actually a way to make most anything work for you if you're willing to try hard enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just would buy things that were against that color, color scheme. But I realized recently, because I was putting on outfits and makeup looks that previously had looked good with my dark hair, I was putting them on with lighter hair and I realized they don't fit anymore. So I had a look again at my like seasonal color color analysis, color theory. I don't know what you guys call that. I'm sorry. Can someone please help me? What is that called? <laughs> um, I had a look at it and I'm actually a soft summer now because of my, my eye color and my skin color, my undertones and my hair makes me a soft color, a soft color, a soft summer, which means I can wear pastels and like that's amazing because it's like I've been preparing for this my whole life. More than 50% of my wardrobe is pastels. Like, I I know they didn't look the best, but now they actually are gonna suit me. So like, this is exciting. But I have to go through everything and kind of separate it out again into like things that will be flattering and things that need extra work. Yay, also I have to clean my room because it's really dirty right now. <laughs> Later today I have to go pick up my medication. I'm gonna 
do a video about that like I did with my braces video telling you about the time that TikTok sent me to the neurologist and how he was not very happy about it. So my room isn't the worst. I definitely need to do laundry and I really should vacuum. It's kind of a chore to vacuum downstairs because I have to carry the vacuum down the stairs and it's very real it's like very heavy but it works super good so I don't mind too much. Also if I carry it like behind me, like if I somehow can like pick it up and carry it with my arms like this and the thing like that, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. Like what is that? Like just like dragging it on my back. It's like wow that feels like nothing. It feels like I'm picking up like a cup of coffee, like it doesn't feel like I'm picking up a really heavy vacuum cleaner, but if I carry it out the front of me, it's like I'm gonna die. This is the third day of dyeing my hair. <laughs> Pink is kind of a stubborn color. I usually have to put it on in different layers. And because I have two different color pinks in there, it makes it even harder. I didn't film most of it, but I have made like surprising progress on my clothes situation. I've moved a lot of my stuff around. I have these two clothing racks in my room. One rack is kind of hard to get to because it's like behind my bed. And the other rack is in the middle of the room so it's super easy to get to. So I've put like the, the winter fall clothes on the, the easy to get to one. And I also went through all of my sweaters and my like comfy pants and stuff and took out things that I don't want anymore. I just have to go through, I have these drawers like over here, just off camera. Um, I have to go through those. I already went through the bottom one, but I have three more to go through and it's a lot of old like shirts and pants and stuff. And I just want to see if I like everything that's in there. Cause I have a feeling I don't like a lot of it anymore, but um, I'm just watching Tana Mojo's podcast right now. I like to watch her podcast. Um, I watch a couple of different podcasts, but I still really miss Frenemies. <laughs> so, do you know what I was thinking? Trish Paytas should go on Louder with Crowder. I want to see it. I just, I want to see it. Can it happen? I have a theory that Ethan Klein is like really jealous of Crowder and that's why he's so mean to him. Because I don't think Crowder thinks about Ethan at all, like judging by like the, I don't know. And it seems like Ethan thinks about Crowder a lot. I think it's funny. I think, And I think they're very, very similar people, but they're a very different production. <laughs> I think Trisha Paytas and Louder with Crowder. Please. 
Okay, but I want to finish looking at my clothes so I can pick something to wear and I can have a shower and wash the dye out of my hair and see how pink it is. It's all just like stuck up onto my head right now and it is kind of uncomfortable, cold and slimy. <laughs> My first time seeing my makeup with a light on. I did my makeup in the dark today. I also tried a new pink curl pattern and I don't really like it. It did something weird, so I'm just gonna shove my hair in my hood. Um, I definitely included my bangs in the pink curls and they um, <laughs> they were like little, like really small. So I'm hoping that they won't do that anymore. But um, I don't, I don't know. Awesome. My hair has such a serious cowlick at the front that uh, every time I've asked a hairdresser for bangs, they won't cut them for me. So I have to cut them myself. So they say, oh, they won't look right. And like, they're right, they don't look right. But it doesn't matter, because I still want them. It's Monday right now, and I started this vlog on Tuesday last week. So this is like a full week. I didn't film anything on Saturday or Sunday. On Saturday I went out, oh I just crashed myself. I went out thrift shopping with my friend and oh, I picked up a skirt. Um, I'm gonna grab it, one second. <laughs> it's listed as $17, but it was 30% off and I can't do math, so I don't really, I don't know how much I paid. Which way did it go? Oh no, my cats have been sleeping on it. Here it is, it's really long. Very pretty, pink. I'm gonna try it on right now. Wait, can you see if I, okay, cool. <clears throat> so this is from a brand named Dax London. And it's a size eight, which is good because I used to be like a size six and size eight is probably, oh my, it's a bit hard to fit the bum in there. Yeah, <laughs> I've just gone up a size. And I'm pretty sure when I'm like healthy weight, like this is like around the waist too. My waist is quite small. It's the it's the bum and the bust that I have a problem with. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh my god, I haven't tried it on yet. It's the first time. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> um, anyway, long story short, I looked up the brand. I looked up their website. They sell skirts for. They start at three hundred pounds. Pounds, not dollars. Three hundred pounds. The way it's cut is so pretty, you'll see when I pan down, but um, you'll have to excuse the socks. It has a nice little zipper on the side. It is so flattering. And it's not too tight, but it is nice and snug at the waist. And then it also has these little like, like cardboard thingies stuck in here almost, and that keeps it like up, keeps it nice and stiff. It definitely needs a clean because um, it's had dry clean only on it, but then I looked it up and it said that you're not actually supposed to dry clean wool like this. So I'm probably going to hand wash it. And I think I'm going to do that this week so it won't be in this vlog that you're watching right now, but it will be in the next one. So if you're curious about, you know, hand washing um, virgin wool or whatever, make sure you check that out. Anyway, I should get dressed. Sorry, I just unzipped myself, but I'm not ready to um, take it down. <laughs> um, I've recently realized that people kind of struggle when it comes to styling themselves, and a lot of people actually buy clothes straight off mannequins that are already styled by like the company or whatever, and I didn't know that. So I decided that I wanted to film more videos showing you actually how I style things instead of just showing you what I styled, because that is way more fun, you know, teach a man to fish. My wardrobe has um, a, a bit of an issue. 
for, and it's had an issue for a while, is that it's kind of made up entirely of statement pieces. And I've recently started to buy some basics, like, like this skirt is more of a basic, so it's a single color, and for me, pink is a neutral. Um, but I also have... I also have this from H&M that I recently picked up, which is pretty much basics. Except for this. Except for this. Um, this is a size medium. It, it's, 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 it's a medium. And, um... Can you see the bottom of it? Yeah. So because I have so many statement pieces to choose from, that's where I start usually. I pick a statement piece and I go from there. And I really want to wear this dress, but I always want to wear this dress. And I have nowhere to wear it. It does really match my makeup today, so... I don't know, I feel like maybe today's the day. I hardly ever wear this and I always want to. I always start with bloomers because the dress is quite, like, flowy. It's not tight. I've decided to go with these. These are my favorite bloomers. They have little, like, tighter ones underneath, and then over top they have this embroidery, and they've got little scalloped edges, so, um, if anyone ever sees them, they're actually cute. And then, oh my god, what has happened to this? This has literally started to disintegrate. I have had this for a very long time, it's embarrassing. Um, just wear a little bralette. I do need to go shopping and buy new bras now that I've gained weight and I don't want to because I don't know how much more I'm going to gain and I don't want to buy a bra prematurely and then be too big for it later. <laughs> so, I've already done that three times at this point. So. This dress has a camisole built into it, like not a camisole, like a slip that's the same color as the fabric which is chartreuse. If you're curious, this is an amazing kind of color. Um, it's very bizarre. It's somewhere between green and yellow, which is why you're probably not able to decide if it's green or yellow. It is right in the middle. Chartreuse. I know more people who hate this dress than love it, so let me know which one you are. I won't be upset. I'm used to people not liking it. So this is really close to yellow, um, which means I want to avoid putting black on with it because I think that will make me look like a radioactive bumblebee. So I think I'm going to try to find some white socks or something. It's not super cold outside right now, but it is fall and I do live in Canada, so I shouldn't be too naked. I have a recurring issue with my white socks <laughs> and um, this is white. This is bright white. It's very like blue. This is more of like a like a natural white where it's aged. It's, it's always looked like this. It hasn't come like this because of age. It's always been this color. But this looks so much better on most people than this. But it's like lower quality whites are like bright white and then higher quality whites are more like warm. I also have a pair of white tights, which are bright white. I've started wearing these because it took me forever to find them. Or I have these ruffly ones, which I think are way too much. <laughs> I think the ruffle is way too much for all of this going on. Because if you put like the, these are my white demonias, which are like, you know, high quality. If you put them next to a bright white, you can really see the difference, but they look much better with that. It drives me insane constantly. I don't know if that's weird or not. Or I could put like burgundy on. I have burgundy. I don't hate this. This is actually like, does this make it kind of like fall? It, it doesn't like, I don't hate it. Like I feel like it works. Oh my God, okay. What am I gonna put on with this? I feel like this dress is so much that you can't wear anything else with it. Oh yeah, this is actually kind of cute. I don't know. Um, so I know I said I wouldn't pair black, but I mean, it's a shoe. I think this is, this outfit is a really good example of how I used to dress for like what my body type would have been as a gamine versus how I have to dress now. Cause this is not a very flattering outfit for my body type at the moment, <laughs> but it would have been 
when I was a lot lighter. So what we've got here is some color blocking. I don't need a shoe right now. I just put one on because I feel like the outfit looks more complete with a shoe. And I went with these shiny black Liz Lisa shoes because I don't have any matte black, although I would have preferred that. And I think this is kind of like a quirky outfit, but this would be super cute on a gamine body type. My body type isn't gamine enough anymore. <laughs> So it looks a little bit um, bloated. It also is not doing much for me in terms of height and I think that's a problem. But I think I can fix it in like one move. From what I've learned about Kibby so far, which isn't very much, this kind of detailing up here is actually great for my body type. This is not great for my body type. I'm always supposed to be wearing waist emphasis. So that makes the dress way better for my body. Um, I would not wear these dark. Actually, you know what? They're not that bad, are they? Did I really fix it in one move? I was joking. I didn't think I could. I was just being cocky. I think I got it though, oh my goodness. I just hate a belt. I really don't like a belt, they remind me. Belts give me so much like high school, high school drama flashback kind of stuff because belts were like very in. Maybe, maybe my fear of belts is just that, you know, like a fear. Maybe it's irrational.